Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Community Bread's second stream. I'm here with Kevin Avians. Kevin is a legendary New York City performer, musician, and activist who's been a monumental force in our city's evolving queer music scene. His works are empowering and often deal with political and social issues. He's worked with renowned artists such as Madonna, Whitney Houston, Janet Jackson, and Junior Vasquez. Uh, probably known from his track, Cunty, that's played on dance floors all over the world. It's one of the fiercest tracks I've ever heard, uh, and it still carries on today. So I'd like to welcome Kevin. Thank you, Kevin, for joining us. How are you? <laughs> Hi, y'all. What's going on? <laughs> How's everything been for you? How are things? Well, you know, it, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like, you know, scary and like, you know, interesting and, and been, it's a big adventure. You know what I mean? I'm sitting around doing nothing. You know what I mean? So not being able to do anything, you know, so it's kind of crazy. You know what I mean? Um, I told myself going into it all, I was going to come out as a butterfly. So I guess I'm in a little cocoon. I'm just met, um the uh, photosynthesis, what is it called? Feed of, what is it called? <laughs> Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. <laughs> uh, feed of something, I don't know what the word is, girl. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you know I have a little bit of education this day, girl. <laughs> Yeah, no, girl. <laughs> um, so, what have you been? What have you been up to during the pandemic? I mean, the quarantine period has been so crazy for everyone. You know, it was a well, time. I, I set a goal for myself a year before the pandemic just to do something new with myself. And I wanted to, um, so I learned how to, so I took DJing on. And um, so doing this whole thing of the COVID, I was working at uh, this little bar called Omar's before. And then everything closed down. And I was working like seven days a week for their, um, for their theatrical shows they had before the club opened. And, so I was DJing the whole dinner party and everything. So I was getting my, you know, getting, it was fun. It was having a great time. And um, uh, I found myself um, really like, okay, so what do I do with myself now? So I decided to, you know, take some classes online and to uh, make some things at home and to cook and to keep my head together, you know, because it's crazy. I mean, I lost a lot of friends during this time and that was really, really hard for me to like deal with, you know what I mean? Um, and not just from COVID, but just in general, from our scene, um, a lot of my sisters are gone. And I just like, I just, it just kind of gags me. It made, it made it even more, more real than, and I guess the pandemic, well, I mean, it was so real, you know, I mean, down to the first person that passed away, which is the, and it's to, for our community, you know what I mean? So it was hard, you know, and it still is. Um, but I have faith and I have my pumps and I am, you know, ready to come on, girl, let's do this. You know <laughs> what I mean? I'm just, you know, I think the break was needed, I think, a little bit. You know, the break was cute because before that I had my surgeries, you know, my hip replacement and da da da. So, I, you know, here I was just trying to get back into New York and the scene and, you know, you only go to your last dance record, girl. So it's like, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to put this album out and da, 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 and you know, it was just kinda like people were respecting it. it was cute, it was fine, you know, but you know, I had to get back on that on that um on that pole, girl, you know what I mean? And see, you know, cause you come back to New York, you're not that you're not at the top anymore, girl. You gotta go, okay, girl, let me get up on this pole, girl. So it was cute, you know. I'm about, you know, maybe queen number fifty four now, right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Legendary, legendary, don't get me wrong, I'm legendary. Nope. Number one, Let, obviously. Yeah, I it, okay, but I'm not. I'm like 54. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's one has always been a lucky number for me, so I always strive for number one sooner or later. You know what I mean? That's, that's, Happy. Happy. that's, a, great, that's a great way. That's a great way to you know think about things. Sorry, I'm chocolate. I have some chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's interesting because you know um since a lot of venues are closing and people are losing you know people have lost their jobs um there's a mass exodus outside of new york out of new york city uh you know there are tabloids writing about how new york city is dead and all this shit um what do you think will come about of the city after you know we get through this or as we're getting through the pandemic you know how do you think things will change for the queer scene the music scene art fashion you know, well, first of all these queens need to be working on their art 
Okay, we need to we need to see some punk rock. We need to see some drama. We need to see some East Village. We need to see some West Side drama. We need some we need some big bands. We need some drama to happen. We need some faggots to come on together, girl. The trannies need to come. I just saw a fierce transsexual this transsexual rap video. I keep with um Miss Boogie. Woo! Yes. Miss Boogie is the one girl. That's what I'm talking about. This is what I want after the pandemic. I want to see, you know, we are the fiercest when it comes to fucking, you know, holding us down, girl, because we got, we got something for you, okay? Put a little light on us, girl. We might have to put a flashlight on us, girl, you know, that a sing, sing, you know, sing a little song in the streets, girl. We can't, we can't be in the club, so, girls, you got to vent your space, girl, and you got to do it, and you got to be loud and you know, I think we're past just like, I'm gay. I think we're, you know, I am, you know, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't even know what I am anymore, girl. <laughs> and stuff, girl. I'm just like, I'm like, I don't know what, where to pick, girl. Where to even start, girl. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm allowed to. Am I allowed to? I don't know. Of course, girl, you can do anything you're Kevin Aviads. Yeah, I'm just a black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think that's interesting because I personally think that New York City will go into the direction it was in the 90s of like lawlessness. Like you will take it to the streets. You will, you know, make your own space. You, you know, reclaim, reclaim our environment, reclaim our city, uh, you know, because everything is so tumultuous right now, especially with the political climate and everyone leaving. I think it's going to be fertile grounds to do new things. I think it's the creative renaissance for this city, right, for, right, right, for right, the right. girls, for the queer community. I think right. it's such a, such an important and powerful place to be yes it is such a important. it's such an important place to be and any queen that's out there that's gonna like you know it, that's gonna be one pumping it through and everything like that girl put on them battle boots girl let's do this girl let's let's pump let's just let's do it i don't know it's just, i love you know i want to hear some more like i want to see some more harder songs out there you know a little more drama songs you know i don't like you type of songs you know? <laughs> You know, I, I like I I'm I, I am like I want to hear some trans to come girls to come through. Like, oh no, I didn't want to be this. I'm that girl. I'm this. I'm that. You know, how dare you? Back of that. Girl. You know what I, mean? I want some, I want these bitches to make me cry and gag at the same time, girl. That's what I want. You know, so bring back the '90s bitch tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I think this is a re really, uh, you know, even though it's a surreal period, I think it's a very powerful one. And I think uh, we're going to, you know, the community will come out on top, working together, pr producing stuff. It's, it, it is the creative renaissance. We got people like you, honey. Girl. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Thank you. You, the, you, the, you the little chickadee, little, little button that you are, girl. God, honey. Yeah, this, I, is all, I, this is all on camera. I can't edit this out. Yeah, girl. Somebody like you to come along with your little vision, girl, to make us be like, no, we can see, girl, we're not blind, honey, okay? Hello. <laughs> that's what it takes, girl. People like you, you know what I mean? Thank you. Know, you. I really, really appreciate that. That's what we feed off of, honey. I live when the young book, when the young bitches come and pull me. I'm like, yes, God, let's go. <laughs> well, I learned from the best. Learn oh. from the best. Hello. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I want to talk about your work because your work has always been socially and politically engaging, you know, uh, always dealing with issues like gender, sexuality, equality, rights, and now is, you know, we're in this uh, very, very uh, tumultuous period with, uh, you know, Black Lives Matter, uh, racial injustice, and, you know, a lot of people are adding to the movement, a lot of people are coming to the table and um, facilitating this, this next step, which is long overdue. Um, how has that impacted your work? How has that impacted your life? You know, I, well, first of all, I'm Black. <laughs> <laughs> it's impacted my life, girl, okay? And I am, you know, I, you know, I remember back in the day doing Roxy, doing like the Roxy stuff. I remember the queens used to call me the Uncle Tom Drag Queen, girl. Yes, they did, girl. I was like dancing in front of all these white children, girl, and Carrie laughing over to the bank, girl, okay? Living my life, living my dream, girl. And then I remember we had backup dancers, my Cunties at the time, and they came to me and said, Kathy, can you get some, you know, some other girls behind you? What kind of girls you talking about, girl? You know some white girls behind you. I said, they are white, girl. They're just wearing dark makeup, girl. They're, you know, they're like being, you know, tan, make it tan. I said, they are white. What are you talking about? 
it didn't really dawn on me what was going on there, you know what I mean? Because I could care less about that stuff. But I was like that, like, wow. I did, I reflected back on back then how things were, you know what I mean? Even though I was probably doing, doing my thing, not wearing tits and, and, you know, untucked and being a boy and a queen and at the same time, it, you know, I didn't care, you know what I mean? And, and then, but... I remember, you know, I did get beat up. You know, I did get my my ass beat up because of who I am, and um, and that's but that was by somebody black. You know what I mean? So it, with the racial the the racial injustice that I came from my own people. You know what I mean? So you know, when it comes down to this Black Lives Matter, um, which I've always been a supportive of um, since the Trayvon Martin thing, um, I just feel very. Um, you know when I when George Floyd was 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 when his life was taken away from him, and I saw that little white girl that was ready. You gotta get off his back. Get off. Get off his neck. Get off his neck. I said, Oh shit. Oh shit. This is this is gonna be different now. This is gonna be way different because people have been doing the COVID thing and they've been like been forced to look at this thing and to to realize what was going on here. And you know what? It is what it is. You know what I mean? It. The, what better time is now, honey? You know, Colin Kaepernick, he, he knew what he was doing, girl. I mean, all these little things that were going on, it's like, come on, it's like, it's like, you know, either get on the train or move to the side. You know what I mean? It's just, that's just the way it is. You know what I mean? I had to relearn things a little bit, you know, Black Lives Matter, All Lives People, are, All Lives Matter. I'm like, girl, it's not about that, girl. You know, yeah, of course that, does, but we're not here for that, girl. But... You need to get on the train with us, and so you can be our allies for us. You know what I mean? And the, the, it's going to be a long time, you know, a long, long time. But you know, I just, I just wanted to, to my brothers and sisters out there, my gay brothers, my um, my fellow LGBTQ, A, B, C, D, E, F, Gs out there. Listen, um, we have to be intolerant of each other. We need to work with each other, and we need to know we are for each other and be part of each other. And it's very important because, you know, there are a lot of children out here that are gay and, and you know, in the life um, that don't see it. Do you know what I mean? And that bothers me because they just don't feel like it affects them. And that bothers me more than anything. You know what I mean? It's like, girl, are you serious? This thing? But, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, Everybody needs to be brought to the table and have these right. discussions. That it's very important. Right. No violence. No violence. I don't believe in violence. I don't believe in violence, girl. I mean, the Breonna Taylor thing, I don't know, girl. <laughs> I don't know, girl. I'm just yeah. like this. They know better. They knew what they were doing, girl. But I'm just like, I don't believe in violence. I don't believe in violence, you know? Uh, sp speaking yeah. on these, speaking on these movements that are happening, um, your work has your work has always been, you know, uh, political, and you've been working on new stuff. Um, could you talk about that, and you know well, how the current current climate has affected that? Well, I was I had been working on this album for a, God knows how long, how long since I guess eight it's been like eight years or something like that, um, and I lost my label and everything, and so. I was putting out singles and stuff with other people and stuff, but I wasn't really putting out albums yet. You know, I'm putting out another album yet. And I always had this body of work that was working on, always constantly working on stuff. I'm always working on stuff. I just felt like the stuff I was putting out didn't really have a home. So that's where I'm putting all this music that I've done in the last eight years, put it on this album. It's called Black Queen. And um, that's the name I had thought of before. This, everything had happened. Um, this is what I've always wanted to be, was a Black Queen. So it, it just re, it, it kind of like brings me back to where I am, where I was when I was 21, 20 years old. You know what I mean? So um, I, I worked with a really great producer, um, um, Samurai DJs on with it. And um, We've got the song on with, you know, I had the, the way our documentary came out, we did songs on that and everything, but still I've not released the singles yet. I performed them and everything, but they not, we had to edit things down because everything's were like eight minutes, 10 minutes long, you know, I had to make everything calm down because, you know, with it all TikTok and the lock, lock and the beep, beep and blah, 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 you know, these children got one minute to deal with. So, so, so I had to cut these down to at least three minutes, girl, so they could at least feel it, you know what I mean? Because they were not having eight minute songs, girl. So, um... So that, that's a whole other thing, you know, the technology and everything. It's just, like, it, it, it's just trying to learn all that stuff and TikTok and then pop, 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 and do, <laughs> you know, it's just like, 
you know, do you get with the program or not? You know what right. I mean? But right. you know, I see my sisters that are my, you know, my 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 sisters that are my generation and 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 older, and they're all pumping through. So I'm like, girl, you cannot not pump through. You need to learn what you need to learn and get through this thing. You know what I mean? So I know. <laughs> Amazing. I can't wait for the world to see uh, your performance. Um, and to close off um, our conversation, uh, what advice would you give to the children, you know, the queer, the queer artists, the kids who, you know, are struggling with acceptance and uh, identity and, you know, self-worth? What advice would you give to them? I think it's very important right now. At first, I was like, you know, I used to say, oh, everyone, you know, take it, la, 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 la. No, not anymore. It's really all about you and taking care of yourself. You know what I mean? And as much as you can. And to 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 talk to yourself and to have relationship with yourself. Excuse me, I've been a big, almost in my mouth. A big, um, like, just have that relationship with you and your whole body entity and body and everything and and be at one with yourself so you can project the, your life you know what i mean i think that's the most important thing in the world whether you are you know on a go and you have to have things done da, 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 or you're just going to get ready when you know i think the time is now to for everyone just to do i think you should just do what you need to do and go from there you know what i mean i think it's very important don't worry about criticism don't worry about what people have to say with you the only way you're going to learn anything is by doing it girl so you might as well just do it and get over it and move forward and be and then maybe you know maybe you'll feel that diamond that i feel you know what i mean i don't know you know i i feel better about myself right now more than ever i feel so much I feel it, I just feel myself now. I didn't feel myself the way I did. I mean, back in the day, it was, it was cute. It was cute. But I was, girl, I was like, ooh. Mm-mm, girl, I was on a, mm, girl. I was like, <laughs> I was there, but I wasn't there, girl. You know what I mean? So when I, when I say I'm woke, <laughs> girl, I'm not. Okay, hi, I, feel, I see you, I feel you. Yes, it is. And then, you know, I didn't even have conversations with people before. I didn't, that wasn't even me, so. You know, I know that um, I was scared about getting older and stuff like that. You know, it's, it's now I love it. I love it. I love who I've become. I love where I'm going. I love what I'm feeling. But I'm not, is that light for me either? So I know that the, the young girls are coming up, girl. And, and the other people that, that, you know, oh, Miss Nick, you're a legend. Oh, yeah, I'm a legendary girl. Okay. <laughs> I'm a legendary girl. But don't you want some? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> Let's have a back. Let's go, girl. Come on. <laughs> I'm not crippled anymore. Let's do this, girl. <laughs> Work. <laughs> <laughs> Always so you know, fierce. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I'm fine, bitch. <laughs> 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 you know? I don't like you. You don't like me. That's fine, girl, because we are sisters and we're going to the name of the cloth and you don't want it, bitch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes. That's nice. Nice. <laughs> That's living, girl. Yeah. That's living, girl. I can't believe and all that. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us, Kevin. Um, I can't wait for everyone to see your performance. And anyway, baby. Was, we'll catch I, up I, soon. It was really fun. It was really fun. You took that I stage, girl. I went in, girl. I went in. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. All right, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's been such a pleasure. All right, baby. Bye-bye. Enjoy, guys. <laughs>